Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is my online portal, Dynamic DNS. So let's say that you're leaving a specific NAS manufacturer. <clears throat> maybe you've been using their Dynamic DNS. Uh, maybe you've got Grandstream devices or Ubiquity devices. Um, and you need dynamic DNS or you want dynamic DNS to make your life a lot easier. I've been looking through some of the available providers and I came across this my online portal, which was actually nested inside of my Grandstream GCC. And uh, it appears to fit some of my needs. So if you go to my online portal.net, uh, they have free dynamic DNS service for IPv4 and IPv6, up to 10 domains per account. You can do parallel updates of IP version 4 and IP version 6. And it uh, appear, appears to use the Dyn DNS protocol. Um, not 100% sure on that, that part of it. But to register, you go to myonlineportal.net, you click register, new account, and you fill out this information. So I am going to go ahead and do that real quick and explain the rest of the process. All right, so I entered my username, my email, and my password, and now you can see congratulations, you are now a registered user. Check your mails to validate your address. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to click the validation, and then we should be able to get some dynamic DNS going. Stay tuned. All right, so we're now verified. I click the verified link in the email. And so then you click on dynamic DNS when you're logged in. It says, what's this? We're going to add a new entry. And the first thing it's going to do, it's going to ask us which TLD we want to use as the, the latter half, right? So they've got these that you can, you can choose from. So I'm just going to use myonlineportal.net. I'm going to do Willie Howe. And I'm going to click add Dyn DNS entry. And I can edit the info. I can come in here, I can uh, put the um, IP in there that I want to see in there at the moment. We can also do a C name with this. Um, we can do separate credentials and it is optional, but if you don't want their credentials for your dynamic DNS updating to be the same as your account, it's a good idea to change that. And then if you have a device that allows this, and I'll show you that in just a second, then um, you're just gonna you're just gonna program this in there, right? So we're gonna leave this open, and I'm gonna hop into that other device and show you real quick how uh, how to set it up. All right, so I'm in my GCC 6010 under the networking module, external access dynamic DNS, and right here it says select service provider. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna go to myonlineportal.net. I'm going to enable it. I'm going to put in my username and my password. And this is going to be willyhow.myonlineportal.net. Which interface are we doing it on? This is going to be my main WAN 1. Source IP is going to be my WAN IP. If I was double natted, I could tell it to send the public IP. Um, uh, instead of the WAN IP. So it would look it up, see what it's, it's coming back as and send that. And then my update interval, I'm just going to put five minutes and I'm going to click save. And now my dynamic DNS for my GCC 6010 is set up. It was that easy to do it. Now there are other instructions. If you look around on, on this, um, that you can set it up on other devices and you can see right here that it that it did work. So it's really that it's really that easy, really that simple. And now you're not tied to a manufacturer's dynamic DNS, if you know where I'm going with that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, whether it is networking, voice over IP, uh, security, storage, all those things, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to the community at community.willyhow.com and talk about your favorite dynamic DNS or leave me comments 
down below here. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.